Yeah, this is really cool. I, I gotta be careful though, I'm getting pretty deep. Hey everybody, Old Guy Gaming here. It's time for some more Subnautica. Been really looking forward to playing this game again uh, since our stream on, uh, I think it was Wednesday night. And so we're going to uh, pick up where we left off. Uh, the main focus of tonight's stream is going to be to get a base going. Uh, we need to build a base, get a more permanent uh, residence in this water world. And um, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm really excited about this. So uh, let's go ahead and get moving here. What do we need to do? I got all this stuff uh, last time around and I need some place to store it. So I'm thinking what I might need to actually do first before anything else is make another uh, storage bin. Because we, uh, the, the, what, the storage bins aren't very big. Um, which is kind of a bummer. And so, we're going to make another bin uh, to put some of this stuff in. I thought about uh, actually spending a little bit of time and trying to organize things a little better here, but I don't think I'm, you know, I don't think I'm going to do that because we just, um, we're going to be better off to actually just get going on the base. And then once we get the base set up, then we can actually get, you know, <coughs> uh, better storage bins and, and organize all of that. So we're just going to kind of live with what we got here until we can actually get the base going. Uh, so let's see, we need to deploy this guy. Uh, I guess we'll just put it right here. And let's go ahead and put, we'll put ores and mineral kinds of things in here and gems. We got uh, s several rubies, we got a diamond, we got a your your randonite, I think it is. Hey, Firecracker, how you doing? Thanks for joining me on the stream. Good to have you. Um, yeah, so I think uh, so. We'll put that stuff in there. But like I said, these um these storage bins are not uh, very big, so there's not a whole lot of room to store stuff in here. What I might try and do though is let's try and put you know maybe some of the rarer stuff in. Copper quartz, that's not really very rare in this one. And maybe what we'll do is we'll name it um, Rare Gems. No, because they're not really all gems. We'll just say Rare Ore. How's that? We're not picky. Okay, so Firecracker... Um, did you say you've have you played this game? Uh, I think you you said you were right, or or you were planning on it. So let's put that stuff in there. We'll take the copper out. I don't know about the lithium. Oh shit! I guess I need air, don't I? It's kind of important to have air. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Lithium is is a is a fairly high value thing too, if for no other reason because uh, you have to go to the more dangerous biomes to get it. So let's keep that stuff in there. Um, do we have anything else that's considered rare? Let's put this stuff in here. Um, actually, I think we need to make more batteries, anyways. And what do we got in here? I, I got stuff all over the place. My goodness. Let's do this. Let's take all the titanium out. Because this is supposed to be... What is this supposed to be? Oh, that's supposed to be water. That is that is not water in there. <laughs> What's this? Equipment? Okay, yeah, we were storing equipment in there. Now, you know what? I, it's, t it's too hard for me to keep this organized. So screw it. We're just going to put stuff any, way, any place we want to for now. We will most definitely be organized, though, when we get the base built. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, for now, though, we're just going to put stuff willy-nilly anywhere and, and get focused on building the base. So part of that process, though, involves 
Let's make another titanium ingot. Um, just to free up some space, if for no other reason. Okay, and then um, what else can we do to free up some space? We'll put the ingot back in here. And we'll put those three titaniums. Let's see if we can come up with another ten titanium with what we have. Where's my stuff at? I'm all, I'll turn around here. Okay, so that's equipment, even though it's not really equipment. That's water, even though it's not really water. <laughs> uh, raw materials. Okay, there's some more titanium there. And we have some crash powder. I mean, some sulfur in here. And some quartz. Okay, that stuff is kind of rare ore. At least that one's semi-sort of right. The other thing we do have to do, too, is we got to get some more food going. Oh, this is more like the crafted stuff in here. Okay. Let's see if we can make one more ingot. Uh, no, it doesn't look like we have enough unless we go get some more. Because we have to have ten, so we need two more titanium uh, in order to make another ingot. And again, the main reason I'm doing this is just to save some space. But I don't want to spend too much time doing this so we can get going on uh, getting our base going. Uh, which, by the way, means that we have to... I can make a laser cutter now, but I don't think I really need that. I think the habitat builder is going to be the most, the most important thing uh, that we want to do. But, before we even do that, we've got to prevent ourselves from dying of thirst. So we have to get some bladder fish. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, you know what? Let me pop this back in this slot because that's kind of where I'm used to it, having it. Uh, we need a battery for the flashlight. Keep hitting that damn button. Okay, so let's get let's get a bunch of water cooked up first. And to do that, we need bladder fish. And then um, we should probably cook up a couple of normal fish too. Come here. And I also need to get some salt so that I can uh, come here. Uh, preserve some of this fish. Because it does not last very long at all if you just cook it um, as is. What keeps... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Bladder fish. We need some bladder fish. My game is being kind of laggy tonight. Or stuttery. Alright. There's a bladder fish. Why does it... Oh, you know what that means. That means there's something that I haven't scanned. So even though I know what these are, I don't really know what they are. I was wondering why that why that kept popping up, but uh, I, yeah, I'm sure getting some weird performance stuff going on here. I wonder if my computer is trying to run virus protection or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep looking for more bladder fish. Sure gets dark fast. See now my light's not working on the on the sea glide again. I don't understand why it's not working. Let's try something. Let's take it out uh, uh, take it off of our tool belt. Okay. Now let's put it back on. And now does it light? Nope. It doesn't. I don't understand. Because as far as I know, I don't know of any buttons that you have to press to get it to to do that. I'm so confused, man. All right, well, let's just cruise around. Sorry, it's so dark. Not much I can do about it until this light starts to work. For it's It started working um, on Wednesday night later on in the stream, but I don't know what I did to get it to work, and maybe it's just bugged. That could certainly be the, the case. I'm not sure, though. 
All right, there's a bladder. Okay. Just grab a couple more and then we'll head back, make some food, and make some water. One of the things that I'm thinking about doing too is the food and the water runs out a little fast, I think. It's just a bit much. And so I'm going to see if there's a setting that you could tone that down a little bit just so it lasts a little longer. I normally wouldn't do something like that, but it's getting to the, you know, when it, when it gets to be a chore to keep your food and water up in these games, it kind of doesn't, you know, kind of not fun anymore. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to think about that. Maybe I just need to hang in there until I can get the base going and, you know, get a farm and all that where, to where food's not an issue. Man, I am really lagging tonight. Lots of stuttering going on. Okay, so, um, looks like we probably better make some food first. So we'll cook up a peeper. I'm probably going to need at least two peepers. All right, let's try this. Vital signs stabilizing. No, looks like we need to cook that last peeper too. So we shall do that. That food topped off. Oh, it's right. It's the right mouse button. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Here I thought it was a keyboard command. And so I was, you know, hitting keys on the keyboard. Nothing was happening. And it's actually the right mouse button. That's good to know. I wonder if the game even tells me that somewhere and I just wasn't paying attention. Very, very possible. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm not supposed to be cooking these. I'm supposed to be turning them into water. I didn't even know you could cook those for food. That's interesting. Josie, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope your Friday night's going well. I just discovered how to turn the light on on the sea glide. It's the right mouse button. Just now discovered that. Weird, huh? Okay, um, so we still haven't completely topped off our water, and we have quite a bit of room in here. So, oh, you know what else? Let's grab two more titaniums while we're out getting more bladder fish. And now that we can actually turn our light on, yeah, it's the right mouse button. Um, that'll work much better. Much, much better. Yeah, yeah, it's like I couldn't, you know, I knew we had it turned on the other night, but I didn't know what I did to turn it on. But now we know. Now we know. No, oh, we're almost out of power in this thing. Do we have a battery? No. We better make a battery. I think I have copper back at the base. Always something, something that you got to do. It's like a never-ending, which is a good thing, really. Uh, all right, what are we doing? We're looking in here. I need two pieces of copper, which I don't have in there. We're going to... Um, the plan for tonight is to get our base going. And I, w I was thinking about... I don't know how long you've uh, been on, uh, Josie, but I was thinking about trying to organize some of this, but then I got to thinking, well... Not really much point in spending time on that. Uh, let's just get going on our base. But I gotta get, you know, the food and water under control first, so. Oh, acid mushrooms. Um, don't have any in there. I'm pretty sure I don't have any in these guys either, so we'll just go pick some, but let's just double check. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nada in there, and nothing in there. Okay, so let's go get some shrooms. Those are some of the easiest things to get, because they're right here. Okay. And then, we should be able to make... 
a battery. Actually, let's make two batteries, because we need one for our flashlight, too. Um, yeah, all right. Cool. Now what we're going to do is go after... Exchange power source. It looks like it automatically turns your light off during the day, which is kind of cool. I'm assuming that helps save battery power. Speaking of which... Um... What about the lights on this thing? Yep, okay, I should have those. I'm assuming that was draining my power uh, in the Seamoth. So uh, we'll turn those off too. Okay, so what are we after? We're after bladders? Raid for Thor! Where am I building the base? I haven't decided that yet, bro. Um, This thing is already out of power. Uh, okay, there we go. I get oh okay so it doesn't turn the light off automatically I just didn't have any power so that's why it wasn't on I haven't decided yet but we're gonna um, look around and and see uh, where we could do it now if if the game is still like it was two years ago somewhere here in the shallows there's a, a thermal vent and so we should be hunting for that because that uh, of course makes sense uh, there's one of the stalker Kind of makes sense, you know, for us to go near the thermal vent since we can make the thermal power thing. Wow, this guy's like really coming after me. Let's get away from him. I'm sure I could kill him if I had to with my knife, but he'll probably mess me up in the process. So we're still after bladder fish. And we're also after a little more titanium so we can make one more ingot. So that is what we're currently about here. How come I can't never find those damn bladderfish when I need them? They're all over the place, and then when I'm actually looking for them, I can't find them. What is up with that? Grab that. Just a nice. Whoa, shit! Ha, ah, you missed me, sucker. Let's go see if he drops some, uh. some stuff. Nah, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, I don't know, man. The game the game is awfully um, laggy tonight, more than it was Wednesday. I'm not sure why that is, but... Anyway, we'll make do. We will make do. Alright, if you guys see any bladder fish, let me know. There's one. And there's one there too. I'm a little I'm a little concerned about the performance cuz it was way better the other night and I haven't changed anything. So, we'll have to have to wait and see what's what's up with that. Well, I guess while we're swimming around looking for bladderfish, let's see if we can also find where that uh, thermal vent is. And while we're doing that, I want to just double check and make sure I can actually make it. I'm pretty sure I learned it. But let's double check. Ace pieces, scanner room, multi-purpose room. Thermal plant. Yes, I can. Except for I'm going to need mag magnetite and aerogel. Right. I don't even know what the hell that stuff is. Okay. We'll figure it out, though. We always do. Sometimes it takes me a while, but I always figure it out. <laughs> come here. Ladder fish. Come here. Oh, oh. There you go. As I recall... Two vents to the south end of the shallows and one to the west. Okay. The question is, I can make a compass, but how the hell do I know where north and south is? Any thoughts on that? Or do I actually have to make the compass? Let's see if we can make the compass. It'll probably be a tool, I'm guessing, or equipment. 
Uh, compass. Copper wire and a wiring kit. Hmm. I kind of wanted to save my wiring kit for my, my habitat builder. So let's hold off on that. Aurora, Aurora is pointing northeastish. Okay. So you're talking about the front end of the Aurora is pointing northeast. Is that what you mean? Which then means, if that's the case, then this is probably roughly north this way. Okay. And so if that's the case, then south is this way, roughly. And let's go see if we can find that vent. While we still get bladderfish, because that's what we do is we get bladderfish. That's a cave. Uh, the vent the vent is still in the, in the shallows, though, right? It doesn't go down into this uh, the kelp forest, does it? I thought I remember it being in the shallows. Might as well air up while we're here. Well, it might help if I actually get over the brain coral. Okay, good. So we'll just kind of cruise along the outskirts of the uh, shallow area here. Let's see if we can find that vent. What's What the hell's that guy got? He's got a piece of metal in his mouth. Check that out. Weird. Oh, okay. That's enough. We don't need to check it out anymore. I didn't know that they uh, could carry those things around. That's funny. All right. There's a bladder fish. <laughs> That's funny. Man. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Nice little crevasse down there. There's another shallow zone after the kelp forest. Okay. Is that um, is that where the vent is? Or is it in this one? That's not it there. All right, I probably better not pick up another piece of metal or I'm going to run out of space. So we'll grab that. Looks like I've probably already been in there. Let's air up here. And... You know, the only thing that I changed from Wednesday uh, was that I turned the background music and uh, noise up a little bit. What in the hell is that? Oh, grab trap. That's the thing I wanted to make. Need to find one more. Is that the thing that like pulls all the fish and stuff in, right? G gathers stuff up for you. What else might we be able to scan here? I'll take salt. I thought I saw something else over this way uh, that I might possibly be able to... S oh, table coral. Okay, well, we might as well scan it. I need to, at some point... Uh, read read my encyclopedia too. It's got a bunch of entries in it that I haven't read yet. That's probably something I'll do off camera, uh, but just to kind of get up to speed on stuff. You're you're pretty sure it's further south, a little closer to the Aurora's tail end. Okay, let's work our way that direction then. Might as well go up for some air. 
All right, so we're actually kind of in that neck of the woods. I don't have my full radiation suit on, though, so I want to be careful not to get too close to the Aurora. Hey, there's a, uh, a stalker tooth. We I know we need that for something. I don't... I don't remember what we need that for, I just know that we do need it. We'll catch a couple air bubbles and then we'll kind of work in of that in that direction a little bit more. Okay, so that's the Aurora, this is south. So let's kind of head this direction. I really probably should, oh boy. All right, let's go back and see if we can get some sulfur. Yeah, right, two pieces, nice. Pick up that quartz while we're here. Okay. We are out of space in our inventory too, so. But let's go ahead and look for it a little a little bit longer before we head back. I don't want to spend too much more time because I don't have any room for anything else. Go away. Don't go by the engines? Yeah. <laughs> okay. See what this guy's gonna do. Oh, he's picking up more stuff. That's funny that they picked that up. Oh, rats! I'm out of I'm out of space. I wanted that salt. We're getting closer to that other spot. See, now this is going back down into the next biome, which I don't really want to do right now. So we'll just kind of head, circle back around this way. And did we just aggro another crash fish? Well, it doesn't matter. We don't have room for its stuff anyway. And Roboticus, my friend. How are you doing, bud? I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for joining the stream, man. What you been up to? You play, um, you play Subnautica and Roboticus? Or have you ever played it? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I am not seeing that vent. I do remember it from before, though, so I know it's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, oh, shit. I almost got farted on. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's pretty late for you already then. Yeah, it, it's a very good game, man. Um, I played it for about 40 hours uh, two years ago when it was still in early access. And I really enjoyed it, but, you know, I got to the point where there wasn't anything else to do, so I, I hung it up until later. And then they just released it on Tuesday. And so I figured, well, we're starting this game up again. And I've been having a lot of fun with it so far. So I'm just looking. Uh, the goal for tonight's stream is to build our, our base. So I'm kind of going around looking for um, potential sites. But I'm having some problems with performance on my computer that I wasn't having the other night. And I don't know what the hell's going on. So I might even just... Um, I might do a quick restart here if things don't get a little bit better soon. Wasn't I just here? Is this a place... Isn't this a place where I got the uh, gravity uh, thingy bobber? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, we've gone around in circles. So let's head back. 
I got a full inventory anyway. And uh, get some water made up. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, I think I'm going to restart the game. Because it is really bad. I don't know why, because it was fine the other night, for the most part. But it is just stuttering like ter like crazy. What's in there? Uh, just more cave system. But yeah, welcome back, and Robotics... Roboticus can't talk tonight. It's good to good to see you, man. Good to see you. So water, we need it. These um, fish that I have in my inventory, these bladder fish, you can use their membranes to filter the water so that you can drink it. Just in case you're wondering uh, what's happening right now. And then later on, I'll be able to make uh, disinfected water, this stuff, uh, which will give me... Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Uh, will give me even better water. High, better quality water. So like I was saying earlier, food and drink's a pain in the ass in this game, man. Um, and I don't even know if that's something I can change once the game has started. I'll have to look at the, in the menu and see. It's very beautiful, yeah. Gorgeous game. So, we got our water. Let's make some more titanium, and then we'll make another ingot. If for no other reason to kind of free up some space. That scrap metal that I picked up allows me to convert it into titanium nuggets and then 10 nuggets will make ingots oh i can make two ingots nice and then we need the ingots to make the higher level stuff like the you know the sea moth and the subs and probably need it for the habitat too i'm imagining so let's put those ingots in there um i'm gonna put a couple of waters in here but i also need to drink a couple waters vital signs stabilizing so let's do that the grow beds aquarium and the machine that makes water will help a lot later on. Oh, nice. Okay. That's good to know. I kind of figured that was maybe the case, Josie. In fact, they had just come out with the farming update when I quit playing. Uh, so I have never actually experienced that in the game. So, But I, I read about it, you know, because I knew they had, that they had come out with it. Rotten cooked bladderfish. No, thank you. I don't think we'll eat that. Uh, but we do need to eat, so let's go grab a couple of um, peepers. Like this one right here. And we'll cook them up to top our food off, and then we can get down to business. Where'd he go? Come here. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of this thing, too, before I accidentally eat it and make myself sick or something. All right. So, I thought about n building my base, you know, somewhere in a little bit deeper water, but... I don't know if, if that makes sense to do for the first base, because we can, you know, there's nothing that says we can't have more than one base anyway. But it probably would make more sense to just build it, you know, close to the to the pod for uh, for the first one. And then once we get well established and have lots of equipment and that sort of thing, you know, then we can build a, a larger, more permanent base in a more interesting biome. That's kind of my thought process there. Uh, sure, let's make some cured peeper. You don't remember the breeding rules rates, but I do know that the fish will breed in a tank for free food. Oh, so you're saying you can actually graze fish too? I didn't. I, that I didn't know. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah, I've never done any of that stuff, so all that's going to be brand new to me. I'll need you guys to help me figure it out. Okay, let's eat up. I want to. I'm going to keep the cured peeper for later since it'll last. 
We might as well do a first aid kit too. Let's top that off. And then I'm going to put the stalker tooth, the crash powder, or I keep saying crash powder, the, the sulfur. It used to be called crash powder in there. We'll keep the water and the cured people with us if we need it for later. And I think we've got food and drink under control. So now we need to focus on a habitat builder. And the first thing we need to do that is a wiring kit. I've got the battery, so we need um, silver for the wiring kit. And I just so happen to have two silver silver ores right there. There we go. Hope everybody's having an awesome Friday evening. My Friday went pretty well today. Uh, let's see, what are we doing? We're making a habitat build. Now we need a computer chip. Advanced materials. Ah, oh, that's how you make aerogel. When did I learn that? <laughs> I got all the I got the stuff for it though. That's the good news. Okay, so we need table, coral, gold, and copper wire. I definitely have the gold and the table coral coral. Um, I think we're gonna have to go find some copper though, but let's double check before we go gallivanting off. See, there's more gold there. And I'm pretty sure I put some coral in one of these storage bins. I did. Perfect. Okay. So we just need copper. Oh, I already have wire made up. Look at that. How fortuitous. I knew I was going to need it, so I made it, and there you go. And one computer chip. This is an Intel i7. 6670K overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. Hopefully I have good cooling for it. Uh, all right, now, look at that baby habitat builder. Woohoo! It's time for base. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Thank you very much, robot. Nice. Okay, so this is what we use to build our base. But before we do that, um, I'm going to take a very quick break, guys, uh, just to restart the game. And so I will be right back. In fact, I'll just keep you with me, actually, now that I think about it. So let's do this. Let me go back to options. Um, yeah, the only thing I did is I just bumped this up a little bit. But that shouldn't have any effect whatsoever on... Oh, you know what else I did now that I think about it? I turned this filmic color thing on. Let's turn that back off, see if that helps. If we're still having problems after that, I might have to start cutting down on some, you know, some of these graphics settings. Uh, but we'll see, let's see how that does. Um, even so, let me save the game. And I want to just do a, a quick restart. And I'm going to check something on my computer here real quick, too. And make sure that I don't have, you know, like something running in the background that might be causing some issues. So give me a sec here. No, I don't really see anything uh, that might be an issue. So, okay, well, let's go back in and uh, see how it does. And like I said, if I continue to have some issues, then I might have to turn down some of the graphics. Recharge station? Okay. Do I know that yet? I can't remember. Thor says there's always power transmitters to build a little further away from a solar farm or thermal vent. Oh, so they're basically you're saying they're like relays, right? That take the power from the power plant to wherever the base is. That makes sense, if that's what you meant. All right, so I guess the next thing, let's look at our blueprint first. 
Because, Josie, you were saying recharge station. Let's see if I can actually make that. Uh, I don't know where I would find it. So we'll scroll down. We got the floating air pump. We could make the compass now, but I'm, I'm thinking that's not absolutely critical at the moment. This is what I want is the propulsion cannon. Because that gives me a, you know, a weapon of sorts. We could finish the grav trap. Scanner room, multi-purpose. You know what, guys? Do I, do I have to, uh, do I have to know these before I can start the base? Or can I make just a basic base? Bioreactor, alien containment. This is what you're talking about, right? The power ch uh, cell charger. So that's what we need to uh, find in terms of, of scanning. Okay. So I think what we need to do is we need to go exploring and scanning. That's really what we need to do. And whilst we're at it, we will... Let's take one of those with us. While we're at it, we will um, look for a base a base site too. So we're gonna get in yield Seamoth here. Welcome aboard, Captain. I do have an extra power cell and an extra battery. And um, oh, before we do that, actually, we have a radio signal. Let's let's check that out. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. What? <laughs> burial detail? <laughs> Guess the dude's dead, huh? What did, uh, what did I get on Wednesday? The big rooms to scan are on dry land, I believe. Oh, okay. Okay, well, we're, we'll be heading there soon. Not sure if we'll get there in this stream, but we, we'll definitely um, be going to the dry land for sure. Okay, so. Let's pop in here. And locate the Aurora. Okay, Aurora's there. So let's let's head in a southerly direction. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, it doesn't look like I have the. Uh, I have to scan another piece, right? Because I don't see a recharge station in here. I got a modification station and a power cell, but I don't see anything that says recharge station. Right? Unless I'm, I'm, I'm missing it here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's head on out. We might uh, uh, check out this high priority passenger business too. While we're out and about. But we're mostly on the lookout for stuff to scan so we can get this other equipment made up. Make sure no baddies are following me. Uh, the other thing I want to do too is I want to get my Seamoth upgraded as soon as possible. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Okay, that's going to come in handy. We were going this direction, I believe. This goes way down in here. Down into the kelp forest. So we'll just kind of use that. Oh, you know what? Can I make a beacon? That would be nice to be able to make beacons. 
Thermometer pipe, da 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 da, da equipment. I must not have scanned that yet. That's just for inside power cell thingy. So so you are talking about this power cell charger, right, Josie? That, that's my assumption. Oh, hey, this is the mushroom forest. We haven't been here yet. Check this place out. I think there's uh, some resources down here that we actually need. And I don't remember if those jellyfish thingies are hostile. Oh, well, look, there's something over here. That looks like a thing. I don't think those things attack unless you get close, but we're gonna, I guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, Cyclops Bridge Fragment, guys! Nice. That's our big sub. We'll be making that at some point for sure. Okay, cool. Alright, now is this green stuff a thing? I think it is, isn't it? Tree spawn. It's not letting me do anything with it. A uh, knife, maybe? Nope. Alright, never mind. False alarm. False alarm. What do we got over here? Looks like just salt. That looks like a piece of lead. Or lithium. Lead, lithium. Kind of the same thing. <laughs> no, not really. Alright, well let's cruise through here. There's some sandstone. Let's grab that. This is really neat down here. I think that was lead. What? In this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint Altera vehicle signatures. Altera vehicle signatures. Interesting. All right, let's move down through here. Try not to bang our little Seamoth up too badly. The upgrades for this thing is something I have to find and scan, if I recall, right? Right, guys? Is that something we need to kind of prioritize, too? Grab another thing of salt. And more lithium. So it seems like the shroom forest is where you go for lithium. That's probably just a limestone. Well, let's, let's double check it. Yeah, it is. Okay, we don't really need titanium, but we definitely need copper. So they're still worth checking. Yeah, this is really cool. I gotta be careful though, I'm getting pretty deep. 